Hey guys, I just want to um, show you how I do a Google Form. So I literally search Google Form in my search engine and I went to the very first file because I really didn't know what I was doing. Um, so I literally just clicked on the first one just to see if I could figure it out. So I found the forms, which was great. Um, the one that I'm going to be using is forms. However, Google gives you tons of other options. There's presentation slides. Um, to share with others, Excel sheets, Word documents, you can share those with your teammates, other people. Um, what I use is forms. So I go down to go to Google Forms and you can see that they actually saved what I've done. So they actually automatically logged me in because I have a Google account. Um, so you may have to log into that. I, it automatically did it for me, but they save everything for me. Um, so there's tons of different options for you to use. You can use a um, a blank document, contact information, t-shirt sign-in, party invite, RSVP, event registration, so, so many things for you guys to use. Um, there's a, actually a template gallery which gives you even more options, um, tons and tons of things. I actually noticed um, that they have an order form, which I had already created one for myself, but um, they do have the order form option. Um, if you want to create an order form. I will show you my order form at the end, but here's all the options. I didn't see this until after I started playing around with it, but I use the contact information for my samples. So I want to name it Blue Grotto since that is, um, I already have one for this month, so I'm just going to go ahead and make month, next month, get it out of the way, right? Um, so Blue Grotto sent to the month sample and then there's a form description and I'm literally going to copy and paste from my other um, sample form so I'm going to copy that over and then I'm going to change the dates so it makes it you know it's up to date it's correct um, I try and make um, the date a little bit into the month so that they still have time to receive that sample from me and then be able to order it. So I don't really want to have it kind of out there for any time because if I receive one of these in June, it won't be the end of the month anymore. Um, if I receive it in December, it won't even be available for them to purchase. So I make sure that there's a date and that I tell them the scent is for February and it's 10% off that month. So um, I give them that information. Sorry, that's up. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's kind of what I do. I just give them um, a little bit of a description. I make sure to say no consultants, please. I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but I don't want consultants to go down here and get it. But um, So with the name, I want to make sure to put first and last name. Um, I'm going to be putting this into my workstation so that I have them as um, a contact. Um, I always make sure it's required. Um, there is an option drop down list to choose from. So, short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, so on and so forth. You can add a picture if you want to. Um, so, I just went with short text since names aren't that long. So, I'm going to move down to email. So, I'm going to just put address at the end. I don't know, just to make sure it's right. Again, um, pick whichever option you want. I want short answer, um, it's always required. Going down to address, I want to make sure to put mailing at the very beginning of it so that they're not giving me a home address that they don't receive mail at. So if they have a PO box, I want to make sure they're I'm getting where mail actually goes to. So the long answer is called paragraph, so I want to make sure that that is um, correct there. Um, there is an option to add a description if you go to three dots. This gives you the option to explain it a little bit further. Um, so I'm just going to copy and paste that over. Um, and then I, I make sure to um, let them know you will be receiving my newsletter. Um, but I'm not going to be annoying or anything. It's just information for me. I'm not going to share with anybody. You can unsubscribe at any time. Um, that just gives them a... Um, makes them feel a little more comfortable with giving you their email address. So, oops, I put this under mailing address. Let me let me change that real fast. 
and move this up to email address. I have to add the description box um, and put that up there. But that basically just um, gives them a little bit more, uh, it makes them feel a little bit more comfortable giving you their email address. So let me go ahead and get the mailing address one and put it in the correct spot. So I'm just literally just copying and pasting over um, and this one, I'm basically saying, make sure to put your entire mail mailing address. Um, don't leave out any pieces because if they put leave out, um, sorry, Um, so for the mailing address, I don't want them to leave anything out. Um, so if they don't put their um, zip code and I Google it, I happen to Google the wrong thing and goes the wrong place, you know, just making sure that they put everything there. So now we're going to get into the questions and I'm literally going to copy and paste them over. So would you like my to be on my monthly mail out um, is basically so that they don't have to get this from me every single month. Um, they don't have to fill out the form every single month. So here I'm going to add my description. Um, you, It's just basically saying you're going to receive this automatically from me. I need to add the description box. You're going to, you're going to get this sample from me each and every month until you let me know you don't want to receive it anymore. So they can email me, call me, text me. Um, anytime that they want to, they will receive my contact information with their first sample. So that would be easy for them to switch over. So let's go ahead and get this, the questions I want to put here. So it's going to be a multiple choice. So I'm going to change the drop down to multiple choice. So I have, um, different options for them. So yes, please. And I'm going to click add option to say just this sample, please. Um, there is an add other option so that you can click that and they will be able to say whatever they want if there's kind of a description they want to send to you. So I, I put that on all of my multiple choice options. If you have accidentally moved, you need to move them, rearrange them, you can easily do that. Add different ones, it'll go above the other and you can easily delete them with the X on the side. So um, it Google Forms makes it really, really easy for you to um, make it however you want and make sure to um, make that required so that you do get that information from them. You make them answer it. Not that we're trying to be mean or anything, but we just want to get that information from them. The next one is, would you like to receive a full bar at a discounted rate automatically each month? So um, this option is basically um, a personal incentive. I am trying to get um, a group of people on this product um, every single month. So basically what it would be is I would send them one bar of the scent of the month each month for six months and I would charge $30 for the six months. So if they want to opt in on that again after their first six months, they would pay another $30 to get in on that. So it's a discounted just slightly. Um, they don't have to pay the the shipping or the taxes so I'm giving it to them for five for 20 six for 25 which is what since he does um, without um, but then adding in that tax and shipping so I just do a, a $30 straight fee um, it's a little bit easier that way for them so now I'm going to go ahead and make the multiple choice options so you don't have to actually do the um, full bar option, that's just a personal incentive. I'm trying to get people to buy those bars, get them in their hands um, so that they start to love more and more items um, because once that gets down um, to the six month mark, it is, they're going to be like, ooh, I really, really love Blue Grotto. Uh, it's about to go away. Let me order five of them, you know. So um, I'm just copying and pasting over all my multiple choice answers and making sure that it's required. So the next one is, can you also send me? So this is basically where I want to know if they, oh, sorry, there's um, not another one. So I have to add a form. So go to the plus sign and this just adds another option for you. So 
this is just basically I want to know if they want a sample or not a sample sorry a catalog or information about joining my team or hosting a party or if they just want the sample so this gives me an um, a chance to see if they're interested in more than just a sample. So I'm going to copy and paste over this information. I think that was it. Yep, that was it. All right. So um, then the add the other there real quick. So I know I have another one. I'm going to just go ahead and add it. And the last one is, would you rather get your Scentsy for free? So this is a great opportunity for you to just get so much information from people. So yes, I am ready to say yes um, is the first one. Please send me more information about joining your team. Um, I know someone that would benefit from being a Scentsy consultant um, or getting an extra paycheck. And then no thank you. Um, but I'm happy to share your information. So those are the options that I give them, but I want to take every moment um, I can to offer those join incentives. So, um, or just sharing them, um, the opportunity with them. So I make sure everything is required so that I get those answers from them. They can literally just say no thank you every single time. So here's um, the... Um, the, if you, the Google Form makes it really, really easy to delete or duplicate. They have add question, add title and description, add image, add video, add section. So there's tons and tons of options here for you to modify and make it exactly how you want it. So the first se section is questions, the second is responses. I don't have any, obviously I just made this. So, But it will tell you who has responded. I love, love, love that. So I cannot wait to see this. In action. Um, so I'm going to change that. You can change the color palette, make it however you want. Um, you can preview, and then this is the settings. So I'm going to go back to color palette and then show you a little bit more. So you can add your own, upload your own photos, but I've noticed that it has to be crazy big, and I don't really know how to do that. So I've only been using what they actually give me right now. So I'm going to just try and find something that would go with Blue Grotto, maybe the spring one right here. Let's see. Uh, that's a little more purple and it's blue grotto so I might go back in and try and find something that's a little bit more blue grotto but they have so many fun fun categories um, like party if you um, are doing a party for 4th of July um, you could send an invite with that you know that color scheme um, so they have tons and tons of different options here traveling um, options I don't know what I'll use for that, but maybe I can do something with the um, incentive trips, maybe. I don't know. We'll see what I do with it, but there's so many fun things on here um, to look through and use. I don't know. Blue Grotto. What would be a good one for Blue Grotto? This is all food. I don't know. Oh, well, this is kind of a blue. Let's see this one. That'll work. Let's just go with that one. I can always change it later. Uh, so yeah, this is basically how I've um, done mine, but you can send it to anyone via email or you can actually use a link. This is actually what I did with my Facebook Live I did today. Um, so I just copied and pasted it in there so all my friends and family could fill this out. Because um, I have a lot of friends that are you know, away from me so I can't just hand it to them so I'll need their mailing address and all that stuff. So you literally just copy and paste it in. Um, this is an HTML document. So they give you lots and lots of options here to be able to send it and share it with people. Um, so yeah, this is my sample. Um, I'm going to go over, it automatically saves it so you don't really have to click save, but I'm going to just rename this one to Blue Grotto Scent of the Month Sample. And then I am, am going to go back, and you'll see that it literally just saved it there with all of my other ones. Um, so easy. You don't even have to save it. It just automatically does it for you. So I want to show you my order form that I did. Um, this is for whenever you want to do a Facebook party. 
Um, I learned this from Katie Farner. I watched one of her YouTube videos. Um, and basically, whenever it comes to Facebook parties, you don't really get an option to upsell. Normally, people just go to the party link and order directly from your website. This gives you the option to receive that order form, but before the order is actually placed, you can reach out to them and say, oh my gosh, you have such and such and such and such. I think that this form would go perfectly with this, you know, blah, blah, blah. So you can get two at a discounted rate, blah, blah, blah. So totally upsell them. Or if you see that they have a scent, um, you can say, oh, they have that in the car bars. Um, have you thought about doing a car bar or whatever the case may be? So I make sure to ask them for their email address, um, first name, last name, host name, so I know where it goes, what party it goes to, phone number, street address, and then items you can't live without. I thought that would be kind of fun. That's where they would actually give me what they want to order. And then preferred method of contact because I'm going to contact them for their payment. So if they want me to phone, Phone them, call them, email them, or Facebook private message them, whichever way they feel most comfortable. Because I want to get reach out to them and get that information um, from them. But also, I want to upsell. Uh, take every chance I can to upsell, upsell, upsell. And Facebook parties, it's kind of hard to do that. So I loved that um, little tip from Katie Farner. YouTube. Um, YouTube her if you have not yet. She is awesome. I love her. So yeah, that's basically um, my order forms that I have. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Um, it's really, really simple. It didn't take me too crazy long um, to do my first one. I mean, I was kind of getting used to the whole thing and trying to learn it, but hopefully this was helpful. But thank you so much, you guys, for 